Hey guys, how's it going? Kraparian here. Today I want to give you guys a kind of like the ideal board setup for me this patch. Uh, I have had the most luck with dragons, as you've seen in a lot of these videos. Now the best way to play dragons is the spell infusions. The spell infused dragons is kind of like the top tier build that isn't spam tokens right now and if you can splash a few extra effects on your already scaling dragons you're gonna see some really good results so today i want to give you guys one of my best enjoy you can have good games in this meta they're just so rare you basically have to play builds that are not fun in order to do okay we got dragons in this one so i'm thinking i just like brutally force dragons because if I actually get a decent dragon build, I want to have fun with it. And dragons are pretty terrible, but usually if like all seven other players are playing beasts, dragons can win. Enter the tournament, Sick. Okay. Champion. Gotta build up a team somehow. Are beasts in even? Yeah, they are. Okay. So yeah, seven other players are going to go beasts. Might work. Right, like can be pretty cool, but I don't know. It, it feels like people are just ramming stats so hard on the turns where you'd go off on a Rylak. And people are often picking those cleave cards, at least when I have a Rylak. Skull! I had a sick... I had two good Rylak builds today. The first mango. one, right after I got the sick Rylak setup, I played two consecutive players that cleaved and I got zero value. And the other... and died. Of course, me, because I just did two turns with nothing. And then the the other one, I played against uh, a ghost who s basically sold all of his board and left. I didn't realize it because it was like turn seven. And his last match was against a guy that was hiroling like crazy. So I think they were like multi-queuing. But yeah, I basically had one zero value turn, but it was like turn nine you where you can't really have a zero value turn. And then I died immediately. Like those, those are my two like decent Rylak attempts today. I don't know. Obviously, it can be really, really good, but it's, I don't know, it's just not working out. It's just like literally not working out. I think I take the damage. It's just a little sad in your eyes. Okay. I got pretty bored of backpacks after I kind of figured out the game. I still played a bit casually for a few weeks, but yeah, it wasn't really that interesting. The updates were rather small. Um, the game is really good though, so I'll probably give it a try when they do like a big release or their actual release. Play your best out there. I mean, I'm, I know what TFT is. I played it a lot when it came out. I like worked with Riot on, on the alpha of it. I don't know, I just never really got into it again. When it came out, it was imbalanced in a way that you just literally force the best build every single time. I played like a few days when it launched and it really felt that was the case. And then they had like that first Twitch Rivals like three weeks later or something, but I hadn't really played for like three weeks. And then there were people that were playing like 15 hours a day for that entire month. I think, metal is in your future. Uh, I think the only player that was like 
good, let's say, and like strained like crazy, that actually made it to day two. Like Scar. Scar made it to day two. All the other all the other players didn't even make it to day two. Because they were trying to play like normal builds. And what I did is uh, I believe it was Ninja Assassins were really good. I played Ninja Assassins no matter what every single game. Time for a bigger megaphone. Hard to get enough gold for next turn, isn't it? What if I do this? I don't play it. I buy that. Do this. And then I go a bit more ham on this that will scale a little harder. And then I try to get a 6 drop next turn. Will that work? Maybe. So yeah, I just forced the same build throughout the entire tournament. And uh, uh, I got eliminated uh, on like the last round. I don't remember exactly the structure. But You're a star athlete, friend. you either won or got like top eight. Like you were in the last lobby. We were in the last lobby and we we lost. But I won the second most money. Again, I hadn't played for like two and a half weeks at that point. Against people that had been playing 15 hours a day for two and a half weeks. So, like the game was cool and all. But Battlegrounds came out around the same time. I just like Battlegrounds more. In that game, I felt like I was just literally doing the same thing every single round. I gotta come up with three gold. Dude, I don't know what to sell. I sell this, but like then what? I guess I can sell a smuggler. Time for a bigger megaphone. Good play. Here's your coin. We got the ghosts, but I think the ignition specialist might be better right now because I can't spam battle cries. I still have to go to six. Like it's hard. Who needs fire breath? Yeah, damn. I guess I do sell. Whoa! What the hell? MPGs, you force the same strategy every single time. I mean, I know that's kind of the joke, and in some metas, it's more often than not. But no, not like not like that game. You're a star athlete, friend. Wow, he's got a Calidos already. Well, he's gonna have five health though, so good luck to him. Like, he's got a crazy turn seven board, but on, on turn seven, he has five health. Right? Like. See you later, I guess. Wait till you see what's in the trophy case. Kinda like that, but I don't I don't think it's worth saving. Okay. Gentle Megasaur. So when I was spamming Murlocs in like the first patch or two of Battlegrounds, uh, Murlocs were the worst minion type. I remember Saviz tried to like, because I just spammed Murlocs and I was still doing pretty okay. Like I won a lot of games. I remember Saviz trying to do it and he's like, how the hell does Crypt do this? He's just losing every single game. That's because Murlocs were really bad. <laughs> the best build for like a lot of patches was uh, Cobalt Guardian. Like people didn't have the sophisticated stats like they do now. So I can't tell you just how overpowered it was, but it was pretty clear that the single strongest card in the game was a tavern three mech. I've been keeping score. You are good.
Wrong set, though. Looks like a tense game. Oh, wow. Any way I can do that? Or it's just it's just too many. I have to. God, that'd be so sick. Ooh, no, I think I think I could do it. I think I could do it. Gotta trade them out now and then. By the surface dwellers, the scourge will consume you. Oh yeah. Time yeah, I guess I guess we just do gold. this. The fate of the world hangs Some pretty good the cards there. Fine, let's hit the shield just because would like to not lose. I was so lucky. We we literally made a zero RNG play. You guys are not aware of this. There was no luck involved in getting a golden brand there. None. Chat's like, so lucky. Oh, the Caligos. Sure. Well, the other guy died, so all Caligos are in the card pool. Time to bench that one. Here's a gold. Too dead. She sells seashells. Gotta trade them out now and then. that one. Here's a gold. Bad one. What? Oh, the damage happened before the shield. Yeah, that's some real spaghetti code. Game set and match. Um. Whoa, almost got me there. What like it's a good pick. Oh. 
Now that's a three-pointer. Wow, a veteran athlete. I'll do what I can. It's Christ, okay. So we're basically unbeatable now. Feels good. That's just right. I'd have to sell the thing, but no, no, we are good, boys. We are just fine. That one plays well. White's coming in. So white's coming in. Gotta trade him out now and then. The light has left this place. Play. Here's a coin. I don't even need dragons. I just need battle cries. Make sure to recruit some champions. Spells. Uh oh. This is a build that can beat me. Oh, he doesn't have a Baron. Okay. This is without a Baron, guys. Just, let's just have a quick look at his starting board. His banana slammers have like 10, 10 stats extra, that's it. Vanilla gold ren with a reborn and one golden four drop. That's his board right now, guys. That's it. He could have beat me. What an abomination of a game state. He could have beat me, guys. It's I know it's 2.8, but he could have. That build could beat this build. And again, this res is with full stats on the Reborn. Uh, 
Yeah, that is going to fill my I have way too much here. So we are just gonna spam any kind of fast battle cry that we find. Otherwise, we are going to rope. We don't want to rope. That is tempting, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go no on that one. And that is pretty good. God, I just put those back in the card pool. Oh my god, what have I done? Seriously, what the hell have I just done? Make sure to recruit some champions. Good luck, MVP. That is one of the scammiest builds I have seen this patch. He, he has no chance against the beast build. I just want to point that out. It's like 100% lose against the beast build. spells good uh. play here's a court Double four. That's eight. Eight plus two is ten. Buff Drakari. Good luck, MVP. Uh oh. Did we beat that. We lost to the other beast player. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have enough slammer, so yeah. That's what a scrub. <laughs> Finally got my first divine shield. Yeah, told you. That guy has no chance against the beast Score! player. <laughs> I don't think I'll get that. Uh, if 
fine. Yeah, I'll spin the wheel. Oh! It's a consume. That's a good consume. Let's go, dude. Nice. Uh, let's shield that. Those are pretty crappy, I would say. Remove taunt. I don't want to remove taunt. Make sure to recruit some champions. I don't think there's many spells I really care for. Actually, that one is really good. Well, a veteran athlete. Then we can end of turn. But if I do that, I don't have I'll have an extra card. So that's kind of kind of not good. Okay. Yeah, a low taunt might actually trip up my opponent's attack order. Oh, this is the no Baron guy, but he just got the invincible Baron, right? Yep, invincible Baron. Oh, that's pretty rough. That's an amazing hit. Ripped up. Ah, damn it. I think we win, though. Yeah. He didn't even have a Baron, guys. Didn't even have a Baron. 11%. He didn't have a Golden Goldrin. He didn't have a Baron. His board had like no stats on it baseline. And 11% is a very real percentage against 300 attack, Divine Shield Reborn Warp Wing times two, fully taunt protected with tech to screw up his order, which actually still worked. How are those builds on the same level? So ridiculous. I, I can't I can't believe it. I see it, but I can't believe it. The Baron spell effect should just be for the first two death rattles, or at least make it not stack with Baron. It stacks, dude. It's like if I had five brands and like an hour to play my turn. <laughs>